Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I want to show you something that's really cool. It's a portable fire pit and grill. Perfect for when you want to go car camping or you got an RV or you want to put it in the back of your truck maybe with your bug out bag. Especially useful for those times when you can't have a ground fire. Anytime you want to have a fire pit that isn't permanent, it's portable and it's very safe and it doubles as a grill. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, a comment. All those things really help us out a lot. It's made by Life Do. It's, it's an Australian company. So yeah, I appreciate them for sending it to me. They call it the most portable camping fire pit. It's easy to keep in the trunk of your car. It's collapsible. As you can see, it packs flat. It's lightweight. Well, it's about 17 pounds and it's very versatile. I'll show you how this thing put, goes together and works, but stick around because the second half of this video, I'll show you all my new tips, tricks, and mods. And there's usually packing materials in here, but I've taken those out. These are your two side panels and these are your front and rear panels. You get three of these crossbars. You get a grate for your charcoal or your wood that goes in the bottom. They have a cooking grid and they have an ash pan that the whole thing assembles and sits into and that's what makes it so handy for when you can't have a ground fire you're very safe with your ashes falling down into this and they even sent me this really cool carrying bag for it again it's life do their motto is every user is our designer they've taken the suggestions from their users people that comment on youtube and comment on their website and they incorporate those designs into the product we're going to set that right there this one right here we're going to take one side panel and we're going to stick it in right there like that okay then we'll take our other side panel and do the same thing. That goes in there and that goes in there. Now, just kind of pick this up and do the same thing here. But you want to have this squared up. So that goes in there, that goes right there, and then that goes like that, and that's all it takes. Look at that, and as sturdy as can be. To hold the coals or the wood, this goes in the bottom, right like so. And then you take these three crossbars that they send you and just put them like that, put your cooking grate on there and you're ready to go. You can start cooking. Okay, now this one is put together with these gears, these taps and these slots in the forward ones. And this is the closer together configuration and you can cook on it. You just put your grate right there. Now for the wider apart version, it's kind of the same thing. You just use the different taps. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put that one in there, that one in there. Take this one and we'll do it the same way. That one goes right there and that one goes right there, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up and it's gonna go. Now, it helps to hold this vertical. And right there and that's all it takes. Put that in there, okay, again. Very portable, but as you can see, these are at a steeper angle going down, which is going to leave you more room, really more room for wood, more room for your grates and things. So your grate that holds your charcoal, it'll go now into the bottom of the two holes. And then you put your three, two or three, or however many you want to use. In this case, we can, let's just use two. That's really all we need. And now you can put your cooking grate right on there. And the nice thing about this is, this leaves you room to add coals, move coals around. This is very versatile with these crossbars. There's seven slots here you can put them in. And let's say you want to do some cast iron cooking. You got that going right there. If you want to do something else in your, in your Dutch oven, you can put that right there. I can put one right here, and one right here, and one right here, okay? And I can put my Dutch oven on there and I've got room to uh, adjust for my coals. Also, let's say I am using the Dutch oven and I want to scoop some coals out to put on top to really do the Dutch oven effect. Just, uh, let's see, just put that right in the middle. Let's put that right there. We can put our cast iron griddle right there. Again, we got move room to move around coals. We can move this around and cook some breakfast, some bacon. Uh, if we want to do some steaks, oh, wait. 
I know what let's do. Smash burgers. All right, this thing's gonna get great airflow. It's got a nice big wide ash tray at the bottom and whether it's in the closer configuration or this wider configuration you're going to get great airflow you got airflow from the sides through the logo you've got airflow from these holes in the bottom and directly through the bottom you can use it as a portable fire pit or you can cook on it and i'll show you some other ways that we can use this thing to really make some great camp meals or rv meals or backyard patio meals so it comes with this great use, suitable for use with charcoal or wood you don't even really need these crossbars if you're just going to cook on it it'll you know it'll hold itself up certainly hold a couple of nice big fat steaks one feature i really like about this fire pit is that it's got this ash pan on the bottom the safety that this provides if you're in a spot where you can't have a ground fire and worried about ashes falling down and catching the surrounding area on this is really going to help out a lot it's going to fall through the bottom uh, if any ashes fall here you've got a little bit of space on both sides it's going to catch pretty much all the ashes. That's a real safety feature and you know how important it is for us to, to leave no trace and that's one thing that Life2 is very very concerned about is that we we're safe with with our fires. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can pick these up. You can either get them on Amazon or directly from the manufacturer. There's also a discount code. So a little while ago I told you to stick around because I've got some really cool tips, tricks, and mods that I came up with this thing to make it even more versatile. One of the things that I thought about was after a number of years of use you might get to where maybe your ash grate gets stepped on or left behind. How could we make a replacement? But what I did was I went down to Lowe's and I got uh, one stick of eighth inch steel rod and I just cut it into four pieces. Now these four pieces will fit right down here, right through these holes. I also got expanded steel. You can go to Lowe's and you can just get some expanded steel and you can cut it with a pair of tin snips. It's really easy. So now if i lost my ash grate a little bit of expanded steel guess what i'm back in business now the other thing i thought about was what if you lose your crossbars i found out that some, some eighth by half plain steel stock will fit just right it works great as replacement crossbars so now if even if you didn't lose them now you've got as many crossbars as you can need. Your cooking grate goes on here quite nicely, but it kind of limits you to just being able to cook right here. What if you go like this, because you wanted to be able to do something else right here, that kind of slides around a little bit. So the other thing uh, that you can do is add a couple of crossbars right here and here, and some more expanded steel and now you can cook directly on that and you put a couple crossbars down right here and here now you can use your skill you can also use you, your steel bars here to hold up your expanded steel bottom grate you don't really have to do the round bars, because that'll hold that up just fine in case that ever gets lost. Uh, yeah, you've still got the, the, uh, the other three. So, you know, I recommend you make maybe half a dozen of these additional crossbars because you can use them both places. Let's say you wanted to use a grill topper for it to maybe do vegetables or some shrimp. You can get one of these. This is a, a, an inexpensive one, charbroil, came from Lowe's. To use this one, you really want to use a crossbar or two to hold it up like so and go like that and you can put as many as you want you can put this one over here there now you've got a grill topper and you can again leave this open have room to move coals around you could even go like this you could put this right here put that one right there and now your grill topper goes this way this one came from Lowe's also we'll open that up and See what that is uh, it's a stainless steel pair of grill toppers that can go on here and there's little tiny holes in there you could use that one or you could use this one that comes with it 
Another really inexpensive and quick, easy way to use is these disposable grill toppers. You just take and uh, put your crossbars across like that, stick your grill topper on there, and do a quick bunch of vegetables or shrimp or whatever you like to cook on it that way. So we saw how well that cast iron griddle would go on there, but I also found out that this Nordicware griddle, it's cast aluminum, and it's a little bigger than the other one, and it fits real well right there. It can slide back and forth. Again, if you want to go like that a little bit and move your coals around and then slide it back, it's cast aluminum. It does retain heat somewhat, but it's responsive to heat uh, changes as well. You got one side that's got ribs on it, and you got another side that is flat for making pancakes or whatever. You can also turn it sideways. This lip fits quite well down in this groove right here. So I would put that like that, that like that, and now this little slot is holding this lip. So that's pretty sturdy. Again, you can cook there. You can move the coals around. Uh, if you want to move it over one and add some crossbars like this, now you can put your cast iron skillet on there or whatever else you want to put on there to cook that way. I think I'm going to prefer this griddle over the cast iron one just because of the weight factor and it's bigger. These full size uh, aluminum sheet pans, these are always handy to have for paring things on or carrying things back and forth to different spots. They're very handy, but watch this. They also will fit right there perfectly. Now, maybe this is just going to extend the life of your ash pan. Maybe you want a little extra insulation between the ground and the, the bottom of the fire pit. You use this as an ash catcher. Guys, you know me by now. I love pizza. And I love pizza cooked outside because it gets that nice smoky flavor. Wood fire smoked pizza, oh, it's just the best. How can we do that on our, on our life do fire pit? Well, watch this. We're going to take a couple of our crossbars and put them here. We brought an 11 inch pizza stone. So we're gonna put that on there. And now we got our coals under there and that's getting hot, it's warming up. We're gonna wear a pair of gloves and we're gonna use these clamps. Uh, there's nothing plastic on these, they're not gonna melt. And again, wear some gloves, but just put one there, one there, one about there, and one about there. Pizza's on, take our pan, put it on top, we got us a nice pizza oven. That smoke and that heat, it's gonna come up, it's gonna curl around because of the lip, and it's gonna, it's gonna really melt and, and cook the top of that pizza. We got our stone nice and hot, getting the bottom crispy, and I just can't wait to try this out. This is gonna be great. Let's talk about packing it down so we can get it home. Really, all we gotta do is just take it apart, like we put it together. A couple of these, that comes out there, that comes out there. Off. That goes down there. That one off. That one off. That in there. That in there. There we go. And then get our bag. Open that up. Like so. All right, so we got that packed up in there. Now, let's pack it all. I got a little tote. And it's pretty low profile too. Let's pack this down in reverse order, last in, first out. So we want this to come out first when we unpack so we can assemble it. First thing we're gonna pack down in here is our aluminum griddle. That'll go nicely right there. And then we're gonna put these pans right on top of it. Everything sits flush. Put a couple of uh, grill toppers in there. We can put this grill topper, those grill toppers in there. That goes like that. That goes like that. And then we can take our whole assembly here and put that right in there. This fits on here like that and guess what guys let's go camping so that's the life do portable fire pit and 
versatile cooking system. Now, I'll put links in the description to all these things that I've talked about today. You'll be able to go right to where I got this stuff. Thanks for joining me today and hey, stick around. Let's just see what's next with Dave. Thanks.